videos to show how you can take a pattern or an image and fill in existing shapes or frames on Canva. It's basically like masking um, like other tools, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and other programs have. Uh, Canva doesn't have that at this time. But let's just say we want to download a pattern or use a pattern that we like. Um, you can usually change the colors of them. So let's just use that. I'm going to download it. Right now I have this set at three times what a nine by uh, or six by nine template would be. I just increase it times three. So the resolution is good when I go to download it, but it's the right ratio of height to width. Go to your uploads. Okay, now let's say we want to well, I'll show you how you can find letters if you go to Canva and you type in a letter that you want, like, let's say S. Okay, so I have my frame. So anything I drop onto this shape, uh, any pattern or image or what have you, it has to be an image that you can't take another element from here and drag it in. These frames are only used by adding an image. So that's why I downloaded all of these backgrounds to use as a sample. So just take your images and you just drag it over and it will fill it in. If you click on it and you want to resize or change what part of the uh, image is showing inside the frame, then you can do that. If you want to, if you don't like the image, you can click trash and then, um, let's see. Uh, usually you can delete the image. Sometimes I guess it depends on the frame, but let's go back here. Let's do letter A. Let's check another uploaded background. Let's say this one. Just drop it in there and it will fill. Again, you can click on it. Say you want more orange to show or whatever. And then you can just resize this as normal. The next part of this is go into your elements, get rid of this, and here's all the frames. If you go to all, you can see the different si uh, sizes and shapes that they have. Oh, they added the letters here too now. But stuff like this is cute. <clears throat> Back to your uploads. Uh, let's say you wanted to do something like this. So you can just fill it in. And obviously you can use rail photos as well. Again, you just want to make sure that they are images that you're allowed to use. Let's say we want to do something like this. You can use three different pictures. Uh, let's say I want this one to be here. Again, I want more of the landscape to show. Maybe I want rocks in this one. Mm. Maybe I want fish in this one, whatever it is. But yep, that's pretty much what you do. Again, elements, I went to frames, and then just choose the ones that you want. And the ones that have more than one image in them, you can add multiple images to. Hope that helps.